Come down for a minute, boys and girls. <coughs> I remember watching on Saturday Night Live many years ago, uh, Father Guido Sarducci. You don't know who that is. He was talking about Mother Teresa, whether she was going to be uh, tapped as a saint or not. You know, <coughs> It has to be proven that you did three miracles in order to become a saint in the Roman Catholic Church. Father Guido said that it was a little bit in doubt because two of Mother Teresa's miracles were card tricks. <laughs> I love card tricks. I, I love to play with cards because uh, when I was your age, uh, we couldn't <coughs> have cards in our house. Which my mom and dad, they, they had cards. They, they played Rook. You heard of Rook? Anybody play Rook? Anybody? A few people know how to play. Have you played it in a while? Boy, people used to always, uh, grown-ups used to get together and play Rook. Yeah. Rook is a word, but it's a card game. Uh, Brady, come up here and tell me. Come give me a stand right here. Turn around and smile at the camera. You're rattling. Did you know that? <laughs> Do like that. Well, I, I thought shoe squeak. Maybe it's shoe squeak. Now, all of these cards are different, aren't they? There's all different kinds of cards. I don't shuffle cards much because I just drop them on the ground. You can pick any one that you like. That's what I want you to do. I, I, my favorite card tricks are not to pick a card kind, but this is one of those this morning. I'm going to turn face down. And there are 52 cards, and I saw a joker in there. There's a joker there. There may be a couple of jokers in there. A joker is one of those cards that's extra. I'm just going to fan them down there like that. You look excited. Here we go. Take any card that you want. It doesn't really matter. You can that, pull it out right there. It, it doesn't really have to be a secret, because tell me what it is. Four of hearts. It is the four of hearts. Show that to everybody here, all this great crowd. Four of hearts. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the cards in half. And, we, and remember the four hearts. Don't forget, I have gone through elaborate card tricks before and say, is that your card? And say, yeah, I don't even remember. So I guess four hearts. Four, and there's only one in the day. Put it right there on top of that bottom half right there. And what I'm going to do is, now there's the top card. And there's neither one of those with four hearts, are they? Neither one. So, so your card is probably in there still between the top card and the bottom card. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to point the cards at you. And you tell me when you see the four of hearts, okay? I'm going to kind of go slowly. See the four hearts? Oh. Start again. Look for the four of hearts. Exercise all your suspicions. That's the four of spades. That's close. It is a four. There's another four. Four of clubs. You're looking for the four red hearts. Let's see. See it? Oh, that was turned over. Pull that down. I didn't mean for that to happen. But it's a four hearts. Isn't it? <laughs> did you put it in backwards? You did it. I didn't think you did. Now, let me tell you something. Read what this is about. Yeah, I think you put it in backwards too. I, I, <coughs> no, you didn't. You didn't. That's part of the trick. That it gets turned around. You know, I'm going to be talking with when you're in children's church. I'm going to talk about being saved. Being saved. That sounds like if someone fell in the water. You were on the water yesterday, weren't you? Did you get in the water and swim? No. Too cold. Too cold. Ah. You're going back to the lake today? You're not going to swim in today? All right. Cold water. It'll warm up. You fall in the water and you can't swim, you need someone to say, save me, and they save you. The Bible talks about when we do what God wants us to do and get lined up the way God wants us to be so that we're right with Him. The Bible says it's like being saved. And saved is a word that's used in the Bible to describe becoming a Christian. It also talks about like waking up. He says becoming a Christian is like being asleep and waking up. Wake up! He even says it's like being dead and being raised from back to life again. Also, it says being saved is like 
Becoming a little brand new born baby again, a newborn baby, becoming born again, a new start. It talks, and, and so today's magic trick is about getting turned around, getting pointed in the right direction. So I'm going to turn that backwards again so you can see the four of hearts. And all the cards are back out. I'm going to put the four back in there just exactly the way it magically turned around. Because when I became a Christian, it's like God pointed me in the direction he wanted me to be. And it didn't have anything to do with everybody who was around me and whether or not they were pointed in the same direction or not. God said, this direction I want you to be pointed in. All right. What was your card again? You're right. All right. Give Brandon a round of applause. Thank you very much. <laughs>